Hello, and welcome to NASA's Michoud Assembly Facility. I'm Benjamin Legrand, Public Affairs Officer for NASA, and it is my pleasure to welcome you here today for this very special occasion. Today, we are rolling out the last external tank, ET-138 as we call it, is scheduled to fly on the last U.S. shuttle mission to the International Space Station. Our facility here in New Orleans East boasts a long and colorful history dating back more than 240 years. The original site was first given to a Louisiana soldier and statesman by the King of France in 1763. In 1827, the land was sold to Antoine Michou, an art dealer turned real estate developer. And as the United States entered World War II, the Michou Plantation, as it was called, became a war plant manufacturing boats and cargo planes for the war effort. For the past 30 years, it has been used for the construction of the Space Shuttle's external tanks. Our facility is one of the largest manufacturing plants in the world, with an area of totaling 1,870,000 square feet, all under one roof. Before we roll out the ET-138, let us just review the basic components of the space shuttle. We have the two white solid rocket booster rockets. We have the one very large orange external tank. And on top of it all, we have the orbiter which is the plane light structure that transports our astronauts. And here is one of our manufacturing engineers, Juanita Bryant. She is vice president of the external tank program for Lockheed Martin Space Systems. The external tank, we call it the ET, is the gas tank for the orbiter. It holds the propellants used by the space shuttle main engines. It is also the backbone of the shuttle during launch, providing support for attachment with the solid rock boosters and orbiter. It is the only component of the space shuttle that is not reused. Well, Dr. Juanita, some kids say that the ET looks like a hot dog with its reddish-orange color, and the hot dog buns are the two white solid rocket boosters. I guess we could. The E.T. Or as you kids may say, the orange hot dog is a mighty large hot dog. The E.T. is taller than a 15-story building and more than 27 feet in diameter. It feeds 145,000 gallons of liquid oxygen and 390,000 gallons of liquid hydrogen to the main engines. Thank you, Dr. Juanita. That was some very important information that you gave us. It really gives us a clear picture as to how large the external tank is. And as NASA retires the space shuttle in December, we have just finished ET-138 here at Mishu. It will be loaded onto a barge to begin its 900-mile sea journey to NASA's Kennedy Space Center. Let's go. I really want you to see this critical shuttle component. What are all these tire marks here? Wait! The external tank is missing! Someone has stolen the ET-138. I found this note. It says, meet Napoleon at International Trade Port French in 1718. I really think it's Dr. Vector again. He's been trying to ruin this last shuttle mission so that he could be the first person to Mars. We really need to get ET-138 back and loaded for Kennedy Space Center ASAP. I'm going to call the president. I need you all to help your teacher describe the external tank to the police. Hurry up and write your teacher description of ET-138 and your idea of where the police can start looking. Just remember, you all are undercover scientists, so hypothesize and support it with evidence. And remember, time is of the essence. Legrand, President Obama is on the phone. We need you immediately. Get to work, young investigative scientists. We need to get the external tank back, so I'm relying on you to solve this case. Hey, gumshoes. Great job solving the case. The police found Dr. Vector trying to load the external tank onto a barge at the port of New Orleans. The ET-138 made it safely to Kennedy Space Center, and they're about to launch. Let's go see. Firing chain is armed, sound suppression water system activated. T-13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, go for main engine start, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 
Zero and liftoff of Space Shuttle Atlantis, reaching the crest of its historic achievements in space. Uh, Houston, Atlantis is in a roll. Roger, roll, Atlantis. Houston is now controlling. The roll maneuver is complete. Atlantis is in a heads down position on course for a 51.6 degree, 136 by 36 statute mile orbit. Three main engines on Atlantis have now been throttled down to 72% of rated thrust as the orbiter prepares to pass through the uh, area of maximum dynamic pressure on the vehicle in the lower atmosphere. The engine's now beginning to throttle back up. Atlantis, you are go at throttle up. Copy, go at throttle up. Three engines looking uh, really good, back at full throttle now. At liftoff, the fully fueled shuttle, boosters, and external tank weighed four and a half million pounds. It now has burned uh, half of that liftoff weight in propellant. One minute, 30 seconds into the flight, all three auxiliary power units that provide hydraulic power to the orbiter's systems in good shape, as are the fuel cells providing uh, electricity to all of the systems on board. Atlantis is already 19 miles in altitude, downrange from the Kennedy Space Center, 20 miles traveling, 2,500 miles per hour. Coming up on staging, the point at which the twin solid rocket boosters burn out and separate from the orbiter. Booster separation confirmed. Atlantis now uh, flying away from the external tank after separation. 